In this lesson, we will learn how to add multi-digit numbers. We have become familiar with how to add single-digit numbers together. Now, we continue adding two-digit numbers, three-digit numbers, four-digit numbers, and so on. We look at the screen, we see there are boxes of ones, boxes of tens, boxes of hundreds, and boxes of thousands. We can base on these cells to know the position of the digits. For example, for a two-digit number, use two cells. For example, if the number is 23, then the number 3 is in the 1's place and the number 2 is in the 10's place. For three-digit numbers, take three cells, for example, 512, in which number 2 is in the 1's place, number 1 is in the 10's place, and number 5 is in the 100's place. For four-digit numbers, use four cells, for example, the number 1476, in which the number 6 is in the 1's place, the number 7 is in the 10's place, the number 4 is in the 100's place, and the number 1 is in the 1000's place. Next, take the example of the number 25 added to the number 13. To understand how to perform addition. First, we write the numbers on top of each other, the ones in the same column, 10's in the same column. In this example, the numbers 5 and 3 are in the 1's column, and the numbers 2 and 1 are in the 10's column. Next, we place a plus sign to the left of the number 13, representing the addition between number 25 and number 13. And we draw a line below the numbers, which is the result of adding the numbers 25 and 13. Next, we perform addition for each column, first the 1's column, then the columns to the left of that column. Here, we perform the calculation on the ones column, that is, we take the number 5 plus the number 3 and the result is 8. This number 8 is in the ones column, we place the number 8 below the horizontal row. Similarly, we also perform calculations for the tens column, that is, we take the number 2 plus the number 1 and get the result 3. This number 3 is in the tens column, we place the number 3 below the horizontal line. We conclude that the number 25 plus the number 13 gives 38. Let's take another example, number 153 plus number 206. First, write the numbers on top of each other, the ones in the same column, the tens in the same column, and the hundreds in the same column. In this example, the numbers 3 and 6 are in the ones column, the numbers 5 and 0 are in the tens column, and the numbers 1 and 2 are in the hundreds column. Next we place a plus sign to the left of number 206, this plus sign represents the addition between number 153 and number 206. And we draw a line below the numbers, below that line is the result of adding the numbers 153 and the number 206. Next, we perform addition for each column, first the ones column, then the left columns in turn. Here, we perform the calculation on the ones column, that is, we take the number 3 plus the number 6 and the result is 9. This number 9 is in the 1's column, we place the number 9 below the horizontal line. Similarly, we also perform calculations for the 10's column, that is, we take the number 5 plus the number 0 and get the result 5. This number 5 is in the 10's column, we place the number 5 below the horizontal line. Finally, we also perform the calculation for the hundreds column, that is, we take the number 1 plus the number 2 to get the result 3. This number 3 is in the hundreds column, we place the number 3 below the horizontal row. We conclude that the number 153 plus the number 206 gives the result 359. Let's take another example, the number 1073 plus the number 521. First, Write the numbers on top of each other, ones are in the same column, tens are in the same column, hundreds are in the same column, and thousands are in the same column. In this example, the numbers 3 and 1 are in the ones column, the numbers 7 and 2 are in the tens column, and the numbers 0 and 5 are in the hundreds column. As for the thousands column, the number 1073 has a 1 in the thousands column, and the number 521 does not have a number in the thousands column. In these cases, we do not write it in. Next, 
we place a plus sign to the left of number 521, this plus sign represents the addition between number 1073 and number 521. And we draw a straight line below the numbers, below the line is the result of adding the number 1073 and the number 521. Next, we perform addition for each column, first with the units column, then in turn with the columns on the left. Here, we perform the calculation on the ones column, that is, we take the number 3 plus the number 1 and the result is 4, this number 4 is in the units column, and we put the number 4 below the horizontal line. Similarly, we also perform calculations for the tens column, that is, we take the number 7 plus the number 2 and the result is 9, this number 9 is in the tens column, so we put the number 9 below the horizontal line. Next, we also perform the calculation for the hundreds column, that is, we take the number 0 plus the number 5 and the result is 5, this number 5 is in the hundreds column, so we put the number 5 below the horizontal line. Finally, we also perform calculations on the thousands column, we see, that the thousands column has only the number 1, we write the number 1 below the horizontal line. We conclude, the number 1073 plus the number 521, the result is 1594. Let's take another example, the number 383 plus the number 296. First, write the numbers on top of each other, ones are in the same column, tens are in the same column, and hundreds are in the same column. In this example, the numbers 3 and 6 are in the ones column, 8 and 9 are in the tens column, and the numbers 3 and 2 are in the hundreds column. Next, we place a plus sign to the left of number 296, this plus sign represents the addition between number 383 and number 296. And we draw a straight line below the numbers, below the line is the result of adding 383 and 296. Next, we perform addition for each column, first with the ones column, then in turn with the columns on the left. Here, we perform the calculation on the ones column, that is, we take the number 3 plus the number 6 and the result is 9, this number 9 is in the ones column, we put the number 9 below the horizontal line. Similarly, we also perform calculations for the tens column, adding the number 8 to the number 9 and the result is 17. We see the number 7 is in the tens column, we keep the number 7 stays in the tens column, we put the number 7 below the horizontal line, and the number 1 is in the hundreds column, we move the number 1 column up. Finally, we also perform the calculation for the hundreds column, that is, we take the number 1 plus the number 3, add the number 2, and the result is 6, this number 6 is in the hundreds column, so we place the number 6 below the horizontal line. We conclude, the number 383 plus the number 296, the result is 679. Through the above examples, we have understood the addition of multi-digit numbers. Here, we end today's lesson on adding multi-digit numbers. See you in the next lesson.